perhaps I didn't make it to the bathtub. They found me laying in front of the bathtub with my back up against it in the middle of the floor. That's Rachel Henderhan talking to the night team tonight. She and her family lost everything in this fire on Saturday at the East Lawn Department Complex in Jeffersonville. They were among the seven people hospitalized, including a firefighter. Henderhan's daughter jumped out of the building along with her fiance who broke his leg and is still recovering in the hospital. Now they are left with nothing but the clothing right on their backs. WHS 1119's Taylor Woods and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie talked to the family as they try to move forward. The last 48 hours have been hard for the Hitterhead family. Everything ruined in Saturday's fire. Now they're left stranded with no housing or transportation. We lost mm. everything. We came out with what we had on our back. Furniture and clothes left outside. Their once beautiful Christmas tree, now part of the debris, burned and covered with water, destroyed from Saturday's fire at East Lawn Apartments in Jeffersonville. Rachel Hinterhen, her father, daughter, angel, son-in-law, and grandson survived. Now all they have left is each other. And I woke up not being able to breathe. My whole room was filled with black smoke. I look out my window and just see flames coming up the side of my apartment. Angel jumped up looking for her family. Firefighters found her mother, Rachel, semi-unconscious in the bathroom. First responders immediately rendered aid. I thought I lost my babies. I was worried about them. Angel's fiance, Anthony, jumped out the window, landing straight down, shattering his leg. He was sent to U of L for surgery. He came off the ventilator fully last night, and so far, by the grace of God, he's done really good so far. But the last two days have been tough with nowhere to stay, no clothes and no car. The holiday just a week away. The family's Christmas tree and gifts are ruined. Breaks your heart when you got a little four year old that looks at you and says, me and Miss Santa Claus going to find me this year. The Hinterhands have started a GoFundMe as they try to recover from Saturday's fire. The American Red Cross also gave them a small donation. They're looking for shelter, clothing and hygiene products. I don't have no family except for my aunt and them, and we really ain't spoke since 2019 when my brother committed suicide. Rachel hopes someone can make this Christmas special for her grandson, Malachi. I don't even care if it's a little truck, just for Santa Claus to bring my grandson a little truck. Hoping this will make their family smile through their pain. In Jeffersonville, Taylor Woods, WHAS 1119 on your side. You can go to our website, whs11.com, to find out more information about the GoFundMe that the family has now up and running.